All right, so let's just taste this bad boy. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get it in. It's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas. A, A, A. Hey. So y'all today is Sunday Like I want to have a self guest Sunday so bad But self guest Sunday also takes a lot of energy and a lot of work So I need to deep condition my hair so bad So 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 bad my hair is so dry But I just feel like I don't want to do that today But anyhow um, because I want to relax so bad today might actually be a very chill um vlog so anyhow i wanted to show you what mommy did yesterday she just fixed her the coffee station a little bit it's not permanent this is what mommy came up with in not in the end so this tree was is for our centerpiece on our table like the dining table and this sign is actually for the living room so the both of them have to leave but basically um we we're just kind of trying to work it out and see what, what we could do so for one we changed the cups that we have the candy jars the candy canes in so now we have like a christmas theme cup and it's a longer cup so it looks like way better all right so that was mommy idea mommy's idea we put the spoons in this as well so yeah the plan is to try to get some decorations some more christmas decorations for it because all i really had was this because i had nothing else but i think i might actually switch this christmas tree to one that i have um a smaller one that i have that i usually put on my shelf so she gave me some some really good ideas in terms of just making it a little bit more festive yo this morning was so 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 rainy earlier i just used the light from the stove to give me light for my vlog like how embarrassing but today was so rainy and i think rain is still drizzling but current went this morning so you know it was kind of it wasn't like real warm but it was not as cool as I would have as I would have liked it because because you know AC came off. What I'm gonna do now actually is make breakfast. I'm finally going to be recreating the rituals breakfast that I told you guys about. That's what I'll be doing today. So let's just begin. Hopefully it comes out good. I did my face routine this morning already because my face has been I have not been doing a face routine and I could clearly see the effects of not doing a face routine. So I really need to focus on my skin, but I'm supposed to get a package, a skincare package very soon. Um, a skincare PR package, so I'm excited to share that with you guys once it gets here. And I will use that to kind of clear up my face, or to attempt to clear up my face. Sorry, let's just lay out all the stuff that I need. I'll be using the blueberry um, bagel from Price Mart. Then I have the American Singles cheese. So I'll be using this as well. I'll be using ham and bacon toppers. So usually what I get is either ham um, or bacon when I order my bagel from Ritual. So I'll be using this. I almost forgot to so have to put this to tour. Then eggs of course, which is like the main thing I guess. All right, then we have the lettuce and then tomato okay so i think the hardest part of recreating this would be to get the egg not scrambled and to get it like as a whole because i'm the type of person i would be like okay i'm gonna do an egg and i'm not gonna scramble it as soon as it starts to give trouble honey i will take a fork and start to beat that egg and like scramble me not the patients Okay, so this is where the issue comes in. Turning it over, but I got it. Good, so we turn over. Alright, so now that the egg, we just have one more on the stove that is almost finished. I'm going to put the bacon on the stove a little bit just for it to get a little hot and just for it to get a little cooked. It's not raw or anything but just to get a little bit more cooked to perfection i guess and then we begin to assemble everything so i'm excited for that part
right y'all so here is my big girls hello they look so good and the thing about it is i haven't even popped it in the air fryer to get a little toasted yet i don't want oil here, but toasted bread with like cheese is like the best so oh my gosh they look so good look at it look at it so i'm going to pop this in the air fryer first friend is in the air fryer oh my god i'm feeling like rituals now because you know rituals are spacing you cannot toast that thing come on look at how good this looking okay i think this is a thumbnail picture because the lighting and everything on the bagel just making it look very gourmet so be right back So while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna start working on the coffee. Now I'm not really sure how to make this coffee, and the thing about me is I'm accustomed to making warm coffee with creamer. But as you also saw in yesterday's vlog, we don't have the creamer yet, so I have to try to use the liquid creamer to do it. And I don't know the correct measurements. I'm not comfortable, so it probably will come out too strong, too sweet, too something. And then I need to use chocolisto. I have a little chocolate chocolisto. Is this expired? So let's just say I'm going to attempt to do this coffee and just pray for the best because I'm not sure. Alright y'all, so now for the most important part is the taste test. Now I already, there's no way this could taste bad, literally everything is just everything. Like, you can't go wrong with some lettuce, tomato, egg, bacon, you know. Ooh wee! So let's just taste this bad boy. This is a sandwich. You know what I eat in a game. I'm a coffee. It's a coffee real hot. Mm. Personally, I prefer my coffee. Because when I used to buy the mochiato, it was like a hit or miss. So sometimes the mochiato will taste like real nice, and other times the coffee will be like two, two, two. And you all know I like coffee, and I like strong coffee. But sometimes their coffee just be like real strong. I prefer my coffee. Like my coffee is a ten out of ten. And actually, the last time that I did it with the milk, with the liquid creamer, it didn't come out as good. Like this time, so I'm clearly getting better. This time I had like the right proportions, even though I'm just averaging here, guys. So I prefer my coffee over Rituals Mochiato. In terms of the bagel, it's like basically the same thing. Like I'm not really getting a huge difference. It's the same cheese, egg. I like mine. I like mine. Like me being biased, but I will give mine a 10 out of 10, and I will give Rituals own an 8 out of 10. Um, on a bad day, 7 out of 10, because that coffee bringing them down. I will repurchase my own. <laughs> so, I just wanted to do that taste test. So the vlog is not over yet. I actually wanted to show you all the ice molds that I would have gotten from Fan Square. The only thing is that when you're putting it in water, you literally have to put it in your freezer first, let it sit down, and then fill, fill it with water, because from the sink to the thing, how flimsy it is. Yeah, all in reach, so that's why you have some like empty rows. But let's get one from in the middle and it's real easy to pop out. That don't pop out already. So this is the small ice cubes. So perfect for the glasses that I use, like really, really perfect. So all you literally have to do is just pop the bottom of it, top, and then your cubes come out. And then this one here, it takes so long to set, so I don't even know what to expect. This one, I feel like this one was a little bit harder to use. Okay, just now, just now, you're seeing. Yeah, this one was definitely harder to use. If not, this one, yeah, this one real. Okay, I know, I think I know what happened. So all the ice actually sets in the middle here. So then we see, like, how to properly use it, boy. So you're seeing that it come out, you're seeing the circle and everything. But because of how I did it, I think I have to use a, like, what they call them kind of thing, boy? A syringe or something. And inject the water into here so that it wouldn't go like all over any line. So that's the reason it came out like 
this but still circular so it did I guess what it was supposed to do I just did it wrong and I think what could I cause it to crack is because I kept checking on it to make sure and it probably like I probably shift the water wrong while I was thinking it because I this one was set so I thought you know we good to go then realized that it actually wasn't um thing so this is how this one came out but that is okay we'll get it we'll get the hang of it so before I end the vlog I wanted to show you all something so I put up my Santa condom so I listened to what Gabby said and I put it here although I don't think it will stay here but for now we will leave it right here and we have 12 days until Christmas so this is where Santa sits in for, for now until um, I guess I could figure out a better place 12 days until Christmas yay all right y'all so that is the end of today's vlog I know it wasn't like a full day's vlog I just showed you all literally me recreating the um, rituals which I would give how you find season Tasting good. That we talking about. I mean, you can't. As I said, you can't really go wrong with this. Eh? Like honestly, it's just the first time that I'm making it from home. But honestly, you can't go wrong with putting some lettuce, tomato, cheese, egg, bacon bits in a. You can't really go wrong. Um, yeah. And then you also the ice molds, which I need to show you the circular one. It's a mess. It's not really a mess, but I think we need a syringe to like put in the holes because. How do you do it? I just put water in it. In the holes. Yeah. But what I realized with the both of them is that you have to put them flat in the freeze and fill them. You can't move from there to there because of the it's flimsy. So that's the next thing. Anyhow, that's the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay? Later!